Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, Season 3 Chalice. We have Seabros with Undead, has just won the toss and chosen to receive. Up against Ginny Fix with Lizardmen. The Lizardman team is about 1800 TV, but it is only 11 players. Seabros on the other hand has 80 TV on the bench, he's got 13 players. So, and he's already at 17, 20 or something, so he's down quite a bit of TV here without getting anything for it. But uh, the 11 man team, as good as it is, very risky, isn't it? We're going to have. Is there a grab player here? No. But still, just can blitz them into a big hole, can't he? And just gang foul him. And it's just very easy to get out of hand for the lizards here. They're going to get fouled a lot. You would expect. You would expect a lot of fouling and bashing from sea rolls, and uh, it's going to be very tricky for Ginifix to survive. And in fact, he's actually taken back that LOS. So he's not even trying to protect. Well, not the LOS. He's taken back the second line. So he's not protecting the LOS at all. This is a very cool. Is this a, is this a chameleon skink? It looks cool, isn't it? Hmm. He's got a few customizations there. Beautiful. Or oh, could look at the uh, colors, see what they look like. Okay. Sea rose has gone cyan and yellow. And Ginny Fix has gone purple and pink. Purple and oh, pink and black. Okay, pink and black. Or sign in yellow. Absolutely awful colour decisions from both coaches. Um, both absolutely despicable. Despicable colour combination from a. Uh, Despicable colour combination from Seabros, right? The, 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 the cyan's nice, okay, but the, the, the yellow's horrible, absolutely horrible. And uh, I'm not a fan of this zigzaggy motif. Pink's okay, you know, pink and black, but the black makes its scales, right? Lizards, not a fan. Not a fan of the black scales. And so yeah, let's go red and blue. Much easier to tell what's happening when one team's red and one team's blue. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to see it. Either. It's, it's just a mess, isn't it? Yeah, this is the problem. The game just looks a garbled mess if you if you try and look at it. Like, what is happening? Where are any of the players? What is the pitch? What on earth is happening? I can't tell. Where are the dice? Where is he pushing him? Is he following? Like, it's just there's nothing about the game that's easy to follow. And at least making them red and blue is one thing that makes it a bit easier. Will we see three players out in front to get a big foul in? Maybe. Why is Ginny Fix German, is he? Mm. There's not too many. You'd think there'd be more German coaches, wouldn't you, actually? Is he Germans? As if they're, they're pretty strong on tabletop, aren't they? I think. And obviously the, uh, the fumble fella. If you ask, Fumble Files vague, isn't it? Candlejack does the uh, does like a lot of the programming in Fumble. Very, very good. Schoolboy error here, picking up the ball before he does the foul. What what would have happened if he'd failed the failed the pick up? Wouldn't have got the foul. I'd rather get the foul in first. 
Yeah, Shtor. I guess Shtor is the uh, Blood Bowl 3 standout, isn't he? Whereas there's, there's a bunch on tabletop and fumble. Shtor's more of a, more of a tabletop on the I guess, and fumble. Like, Shtor is more of a tabletop on fumble. He started in Blood Bowl 2, didn't he, I think? Oh, Dr. Hellboy, by the way. Glorious. Terrible foul there from Seabrawls. Is there something clever he can do here? Probably not. I guess ideally you want to blitz with uh, this one on the floor, right? And then blitz him so you get to get away. Get to rescue one of them. I guess that's the player, but you need quite a few assists to do that. Super interesting. Maybe you could like chain somehow, like blitz this guy and chain him to there. Could be an idea. I'm not playing Fairy Tale Fables, no, I played it. I played it like, you know, when it first came out and a few other people were playing it. It just didn't grab me, you know, like the fucking AI art. And uh, it just didn't grab me the way that uh, the other one did. Storybook Brawl. Didn't grab me the same way. I haven't been playing a lot of video games lately, honestly. I haven't been playing a lot. I've been playing... Helldivers the most. Which is repetitive but fun. So even that I couldn't like, you know, I couldn't play for twelve hours a day every day. <laughs> Cause it's it's good for a good for an hour or two, right? And you have a good laugh and then put it down. Hello fluffy burrito. Yeah, I don't I don't stream for ages. I uh, got pretty burnt out after the uh, Funnily enough, after, you know, after the uh, official casting, where, you know, if I'd had any brains, I would have been streaming loads to try and capitalise on the interest and stuff, but instead I was just like, oh, God, fuck Blood Bowl. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, it just it seemed like all the combos seemed like ridiculously over the top and stuff, and I just wasn't. I just didn't. I just didn't really enjoy the game. It lasted for ages. I don't know. I'm I'm okay with honestly. I'm. Everyone's always like you know recommending games to me, and I'm quite happy not playing loads of games. Do you know what I mean? Like I've never, I've never really been a big gamer. I know that sounds stupid, but um, you know I played Blood Bowl tabletop right I played Blood Bowl tabletop for a long time before I ever played it on Fumble or computer and stuff played loads of 40k and Warhammer and all that kind of so I played all that kind of stuff tabletop and then I only played like you know I had Commodore 64 and that so you know I played a little bit but not like not tons right and I had a uh, Xbox and that like I wasn't I wasn't a PC gamer ever and then I've got a, I've got a PC at Stream Blood Bowl. So I've just never been a big gamer. Hello, Pedro. So I'd rather, I'd rather play a few games a lot than many games a little. Exactly, Pedro. Exactly. Exactly. I was a mega nerd. Giga nerd. A lot of contact here for uh, Ginifix, and not easy to extract his players from this. Obviously, just choosing to leave those three in the LOS. Uh, I do feel like I, I mean, I know I would have blitzed one up to try and get him away. But the good thing is, you can stand them all up at the same time, can't you, if they don't get fouled out? But this could be a three assist foul. Should be a three assist foul if you ask me. We shall see if it is or not. 
obviously uh, Seabros has to be a little bit wary about uh, exposing the ball to the skink hit squad he's only going for a two assist foul pathetic I would definitely million percent put this guy in here and fouled him Is he even minus AV? I oh, know it's minus Arch. I guess this way he gets to foul the Crocs, but the Crocs is easier to hurt, right? Because he hasn't got a block. It's actually easier to knock over the Crocs than the other two. So maybe he's still thinking about it. I don't think I'm influencing this. Maybe he's going to put him in there and foul. Maybe he's worried about the skinks coming around. Oh shit! He's doing something totally different. Following this guy, higher value target. So he exposes the DP a bit more to foul a higher value target. Interesting. Super interesting. Oh, Benny Bartos. I definitely blitz this guy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, cheer five. And then you get to stand him up and block him. Or just put him in there and block him. This guy could stand there. So you get to block this guy. And you get blitz him. Or you could just put in players here and block him. That would save the GFI. Three, four, five, six. No, but then you're in two of them. Which isn't great. I would mash in and try and get rid of the dirty player. Because 11 players is too dangerous. Okay, this is pretty good. You could blit you can blitz him and then scoot him along. Okay, he hasn't, but I like that. Problem is you'd have two defensive assists, but you could have two offensive ones as well. So that, that was maybe the best blit and maybe that was the best player, blitzing him, chaining him across and then hitting this guy. I mean it's okay, he gets to hit the guard now, which is good. But I think I'd rather hit the dirty player. Because Seabrolls isn't really worried about like getting into range or anything, right? He's not worried about his offense at the moment. He's just worried about maximizing fouls. It's a stun, which is okay, but you know, so what? He hasn't got a guard for a turn, right? He's got strength 5, mighty blow, fellas. He doesn't really need guard. He's still got players on the ground that can get fouled by a dirty player, so I really do feel like he should have been blitzing the dirty player, but never mind. Or oh, chaining him onto the dirty player and punching the dirty player. But I guess this, this way he beat him off, didn't he? This way he's not giving a block back, whereas... By hitting the other one, he would have done that. But you could have protected him with guards and stuff. Interesting. Interesting. Surely we shall see a big foul here, like three assist foul. Something like this. Yes. That's kind of necessary, right? Because you're just going to get banged on by uh, strength five hits with block. <laughs> Both mummies have got blocked, do they? Block guard defensive, block guard defensive, yeah. So, 
you know, just standing your LOS to get smashed by a mighty blow isn't super uh, tempting when you've only got 11 players. And you might you might give you an opportunity to stand up your players, like you know, and cause some problems later. Looks like this could be the turn now to set up your, stand up your players. But but also it might uh, might get somebody killed. Then you might get killed by my blow, so it's tough, isn't it? Snotlings, not me, I'm afraid. I haven't played them at all. Um, I mean, I. More, I've, got, I've actually got the best advice. I've got the best advice in the world for snotling. So there you go. After, after saying I didn't know anything, I've actually got the best advice, and that is uh, check out Fumble and check out Malmia's replays, and uh, that will teach you everything you need to know. <laughs> Simple. Another one where he's got, he's got this player here doing nothing as they're getting assisted, and it's even in a better place for the ball as well, if you ask me. Really weird to not put that guy. I don't know what this guy isn't here. Oh man. He, do you know what he could do here? He could um He could He could fill these two squares and then he could uphill block him and push him into there to hit the ball. It's probably rubbish, isn't it? I say it's probably rubbish, it's definitely rubbish. He could clear him, couldn't he? He could block him, chain him, push him back, and then he's out and he can just blitz. That's kind of mental. The snollings are okay. Yeah, they're completely okay. Um, now we're at middle of the pack in win rate. And that's on Fumble, right? That's on Fumble, they're about middle of the pack in win rate. And Fumble doesn't allow Mega Stars, so they're obviously going to be better if they can have like Morgan Thorg and stuff. Okay, so he's doing the stand up. I I much prefer chaining the uh, chaining the mummy back and then just hitting the ball. I guess you can only hit him one D. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe I don't prefer that. I mean, I, I don't know hype. I've never, I've never played them. I've never watched Malmia's replays. But were I to ever play Snotlings, what I would do is I would watch Malmia replays and learn how to play them. But what I do know is you're not allowed Morg on Fumble, and if you were allowed Morg, it'd be better, wouldn't it? We've got a dirty player sneaky get on the lizard man team here. Is he gonna foul uh, white? He is. Injured. Regen works. Classic dirty player sneaky get. So yeah, I mean, the good thing for Seabros is that was a white fouled out and not his mummy fouled out. What's bad is this guy is irrecoverable. This guy's down, so he's got a double GFI to hit. Um, and he's a little bit, he's in a little bit of a pickle, isn't he? He's in a little bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. Not that bad, obviously. You just need one assist to two D him, and then two D him, and then you can two D him. But you know, the lizards haven't really been removed, and if lizards don't get removed, it gets very tricky, very quickly. The lizards are pretty fucking overpowered. There's a blitz there. It's pretty. It's pretty good, right? Because he realizes he's going to hit here and hit here, and uh, he's obviously he wants to move this guy before he does this hit. 
So because he's moving him before he hits him, he wants to move, get this secured as well. So by putting him there, if he blocked there, he'd still be on him on a push. So he had to come around to blitz him away on a push. He would have pushed him to here. But on the power, he can uh, control him a bit. Yeah, movement five is, is was like the worst thing about ogres as well, right? Like movement five is really, really slow. It's the pow. Look a dog. Doesn't follow, eh? Eh? He must be moving this guy in then. Oh no, he's already got a guard. Okay, he's got the guard in. Disregard. Errata, errata. Gets the knockdown with block. Dead, dead, dead! <laughs> Unbelievable! Got off all that. Does he? He doesn't have to, actually. Probably will, though. It's a serious injury. Flip me. Well, don't say it's over. But uh, that is pretty massive. And uh, Seabrawl's equity is rising. Get a massive uh, gang foul on a mummy here if, if he wants. Ginny fix. Just depends if he thinks he can manoeuvre around and get the stop. Does he have mighty blow tacklers? This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI. Could blitz this guy with mighty blow tackle. Does he want to? Oh, no, he's moving, he's moving five! <laughs> well, his mighty blow tackle is movement five and in completely the wrong squares. If he was up here, even if he was this one, one, two, three, four, five, cheer five. Yeah, so we're coming around for the big foul. I think this is probably correct. Correct! No guard on this uh, this guy here, so only a three assist foul. Hmm. So that's the drive one for C Bros probably. Now he's just got to think about if he can. You know, come out even more ahead in the bash wall. Live games do go a bit slow on your own, don't they? <laughs> they go a bit slow and there's multiple people sometimes, but uh, particularly slow alone. I've got no real desire to talk constantly. <laughs> My throat's a bit sore. Gonna foul the sneaky git by the looks of it. I guess there's this guy, isn't there? Who's, who's he got to foul with, though? He hasn't really got anybody, has he? White ghoul, rookie ghoul, block guard liner. You can't foul with him, you can't foul with this guard liner either. So, this block guy, he could blitz the sneaky git dirty player, so he's gonna blitz him, isn't he? So you just don't get the foul. Sad. Puts in the reroll. He's red red it. They said just simply kill the skinks, but unfortunately diced. Never lucky. Somebody check the RNG. It's 
not normal dice. That was a bad stand, wasn't it? You've got to punch that guy before you... Uh... Maybe it's not. Maybe he's just going to foul the mummy. Maybe it wasn't a bad stand. Maybe he's just going to foul the mummy. Hmm. I think I'd have rather just punched him away. Yeah, because... I guess you still got the assist because of guard, but I think I'd rather just push them away. Maybe it doesn't matter. Really want to push this guy in, right? So you get the 3D. The Dudley Death Drop? I would have put him in here. I guess you just move this guy down, so it's okay. But he could have had another assist, right? He could have been there. Oh wow, and that extra assist would have made it a KO. Because <laughs> he had to use his dirty player to break the AV. So yep, had he had he put this guy in this square, and got the pow, he would have actually uh, he would have actually got the KO there. Now of course he may have thought he valued the follow-up hit and stuff. It's not wrong to do it the way he did. But I would have probably got the greedy away to get the extra assist. <sighs> Classic G if I feel. The good thing is you could actually re-roll the hit, couldn't he, in uh, in Blood Bowl three? I mean, not something you could you know, you just wouldn't have the chance to re-roll that in Blood Bowl two, but it's good that you can you can spunk a re-roll on a GFI and still greed the hit. Trying to salvage the mummy a bit, but it's not easy, is it? I guess if you put in a guard here, he could um, he could punch him and then chain him off, which saves him a little bit. Not sure I like letting this guy up and move down. There's not a lot of time left. So it's probably A or K. -okay. But um yeah, these these guys can run around now. This guy can run down and you've only got three players to protect it. It's not the best. Not the worst, but not the best. That's exactly what he's doing. He's gonna get a hit in the ball, isn't he? No matter how hard it is. Even if it's a dodge into a uphill or a six plus in with a Saurus. He's gonna at least get a hit on the ball next turn. See what's kinda wrong with two turn. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Glorious. I will defend. Of glory or fall. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very much. Or is it only fans glory? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. With this big thing here, wants to put a few things in to stop them all getting tagged, I think. 
This, where is this guy? Yeah, I think he got a bit more, didn't he? I think he wants to get players around here. Probably try to bliss this guy and then like cut corners and stuff and try to get players in here. At least a player here. At least a player here. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there. That, that's the that's the square. For this skink he needs to get there. He can blitz him. Hope for a pal. Problem is here is he's he's letting he's letting him come in and uh, tag the back. You see a double dodge from Asaurus is way less likely than a single dodge. So you know Sea Rose might be okay with uphill uh oh, sorry, uh Ginifix might be okay with just an uphill from the uh, from a skink, but like obviously an uphill is down at one in thirty six it's much better to dodge in with the Saurus to hit one of these. Like to hit the ball carrier. The Saurus dodging would have been a much better way, but he hasn't protected the Saurus at all. He can all of the Saurus can be tagged. Which is uh you know what should happen. Guess there's the argument of um no, he doesn't have that many players, right? He's only got two players. Two players isn't enough. It would if he could stand on the sideline, but he can't stand on the sideline versus a skink. So he kind of needed three players to protect the ball here, not two players to protect the ball. So maybe misjudgment from Sea Brawls. Maybe this guy could blitz a skink and then use him as an extra, extra guy to protect the ball. Oh, can't we go? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch Raw to be honest. I watched a bit of a. Oh, so that's a pretty good way of doing it. That's a pretty good solution from C Bros, isn't it? Um, I'll be honest. I was only really watching. Lately, I've only been watching Raw and SmackDown for The Rock. <laughs> I've only been watching The Rock segments. And now he's gone, isn't he? I heard. I heard he's gone. So my my interest is gone. <laughs> oh, big injury. Read it was right. This is rough, isn't it? The lizards capped at nine players. The lizards capped at nine players now is it's gonna be real tough for them. Even if they do, you know, make a bunch of dice rolls here and to even two dice the ball, it's going to be uh, really, really bad. Well. Ginny Flix is not a Jimmy Old, no. Oh, yeah, of course he's got a. Of course he's got a German team, and I didn't even notice that before. Bailey! I'm not a fan of Bailey. Mostly because I think she's fucking ugly. <laughs> and you may call me shallow. But there you go. Oh, I don't like this. Is Giovine a puncher guy? I'd, I'd rather just dodge and hit this guy, right? You could have just dodged and 2D'd him. That's way better than Giovine to blitz and do nothing. Like, that's, not, that's doing nothing. This blitz is doing absolutely fucking nothing. Just make the dodge and hit the ball. Ah. 
So your your opinion, Steve, in, in my opinion, I'm completely fair to baby. <laughs> but everyone's everyone's entitled to an opinion. I'm not saying she's I'm not saying she's objectively ugly or a terrible person or anything or Wow, just he's just getting his he's getting his best skin kit. Though I guess it is an armor nine skin kit. <laughs> it's not that good to punch him. Uh, and you you gotta punch this guy anyway with a mummy. And then probably this guy with a mummy as well. Just get 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 mummy mighty blow hits on. And then this guy as well, so you can make a few make a few hits here. Three mighty blow hits on Saurus is pretty nice. Bailey, it's a wrestler, a WWE women's wrestler. Oh, Bailey, got a face like a smacked ass. <laughs> Some think that's harsh, but there you go. She's no, she's no Liv Morgan. It's just three days and this is this is shit from uh from sea brawls. If you ask me. You have to you have to get your uh your two D in with a mummy first. You have to. It's a one in twelve nine six. You have to two D with a mummy first. You absolutely have to. I mean, you don't have to, but I guess you don't have to, right? One in 1,300 times, he wouldn't score there. And he stopped himself that chance. Maybe it was right. I don't think it was right. It's funny, I still think you're plus EV. I, I, I do. Even, even if the game is pretty much won, you know, at 1-0, which it is. Like it's pretty much a one right now. Like he doesn't need the uh the snowball, right? He's already capped at nine players. Doesn't seem worried about the one turn because he wasted a reroll last turn, so I'm concerned for the one turn, so you shouldn't be too concerned about his one turning capabilities. But um I think it's gotta be wrong, isn't it? Like I'm sure it's wrong. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's you know, kind of game theory wrong, right? To not make that block. But I can kind of understand the thought process behind it. Because, like, I'm I'm kind of the same. Like, I know there's times when I should block, but I just think I'll be so sad if the one in thirteen hundred chance happens. If the one in thirteen hundred chance happens, I'll be so sad. It doesn't make up for the tiny amount of EV I'm losing by not making it. <laughs> Basically.
If I ever leveled an assassin, dodge first, right? So that he can move around because he's, he's a wood elf lino. So dodge. And then probably wrestle. It's kind of a better defensive skill and then more likely to want to use the wrestle if you're having to block with him. Because you could just stab if you were going to use block. So probably dodge, wrestle, and sidestep. And then, I guess, but then I guess the, the the block means you stay standing to stab, doesn't it? Mm. I don't know. Dodge, maybe block. Dodge, then block or wrestle, then sidestep, right? So that you can stick on them when you when you. And then you could have jump up, so that if you get knocked down, you could jump straight back up to stab them. But it'd probably be like A V after that point. It'd probably be like lodge step A V A V. That's five skills. Lodge step, AV, AV. That's five skills. And the legend skill would be, uh, be something else. Or I guess you could take sneaky, get dirty player and just forget. <laughs> forget about being an assassin. <laughs> it's probably the best use of him. <laughs> This is weird from Ginny Fix. Oh, it's Tornado. No. Did not score one turn. Everybody's shocked. Yeah, got to bench the... Uh, Ghoul here. No, he's not benching that. I like benching the ghoul. I'm pretty confident I'd be winning this without him, so I wouldn't want to expose him to randomly getting shit on, but depends, I guess, how confident you are, doesn't it? Obviously, this is. It's obviously more likely to stop the defense playing a better goal. But I might switch into a little bit into protective mode here. Back myself to win the overtime. 12 versus 9, so. one the up, can't lose in normal time, so I'll, I'll, I'll put um, I'll put the uh, mummies off the LOS. And. Uh, I'd bench, I'd bench the good ghoul and take the mummies off the LOS, to be honest. No, oh, actually, yeah, he's got defensive, hasn't he? So. That does make it. He should have had the stand firm here then, maybe. Because he can punch this guy, and then even if he pushes him. That's not enough as he's got a power. It's pretty sick, isn't it, actually, the defensive. Maybe you can have them on the OS with defensive. Bit dodgy, though, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It does seem like you can... But he's not going for them, is he? He's not going for them. Oh, but he is now.
Yeah, it's pr tricky because he's kind of got to power them to get things to get things going. I had to blitz there because they're defensive. <laughs> Yeah, no knockdown means he can't hit the other mummy. Oh no, he can. He can if he knocks him down here. Yeah, yeah. And gets a Kaz. Oh, Samich. So I can bring these two in here, can't he? And punch him. And then, uh. Can I, can I just Kaz him? Imagine that. Stands firm. Stand firm. Oh. Just leave it. And if you're winning, it's will throw the time right, so you have to conserve rerolls now. have to um this is the tackler as well this is a bit oh he's got two but this is his best player right one two three four five it's four and a minus move three and a minus move two and an injury two three this guy's five skills so you just blitz him with your mummy and if you power him mega foul if you don't power him if he stands firm on you well you've got a fucking mummy if he doesn't stand firm Push him into there and he hit him again. So, there's a pretty obvious blitz here. You will, Doug, you will. Honestly, I was thinking about, I was thinking about the art the other day. It's gonna happen. I swear, I know I've been saying for years that things will change. <laughs> but it will all change one day. One day it will change. I'm the closest I've ever been to changing. I've, uh, I've thought about things. Yes. I didn't like. That. I don't like this from Zero. I'd have definitely only blitzed. Or I would have mummy blitzed from there, right? He could have put in a bunch of assists and then mummy blitzed from there. I wouldn't have hated that. Well, this is very balls to the wall, isn't it, from Sea Rolls? I mean, he's got a two-man advantage. He's trying to push that. But very... Oh, it's got a one-man advantage. Very aggressive. Oh, no. No, I thought it was a KO. It's turn 10. <laughs> I read the turn 10 as KO. Yeah, I've had this couple of months off, you know. Off this Twitch, pretty much. But, uh... The cup's back on. 
upload and I've got two more videos to upload the next couple of days and obviously putting these on. It's a shame that this one's a solo live. I mean live games are generally worse I think anyway just because you know unless you've got the banter of somebody on it. The replays are a bit fast but at least I can pause them and stuff. It's not too bad. There's a bunch of stuff isn't there? There's all, there's all the art that I want to do. I think I want to do art. I like art. I want to do a bit of art. And then there's uh, all the guides I can do and all the coaching I can do. I'd like to do some Battle Brothers guides. I'd also like to play a bit of Battle Brothers as well. I'm always in the Battle Brothers Reddit because uh, you know, I'm on Reddit and then the Battle Brothers Reddit it's always, you know, like asking the same advice, and I'm always giving the same advice. But I'm always looking at it, thinking, God, I should really have another run, you know, or or at least make some videos. So you know, I might do something. And the good thing about Battle Brothers is there always seems to be like new players playing it, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Like, despite being pretty old and rubbish graphics, there always seems to be new people playing Battle Brothers. But I mean, I really do love it, so should probably do something for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so not interested in, uh, in Menace. I don't even know if it's shit. I mean, have you, have you played it or read anything about it, Randall Carrison? Like, it could be really good. Even if it was really good, it just doesn't look appealing to me at all. What what's weird about um what's weird it's called menace. You just being an edge lord. <laughs> it's called menace and uh it doesn't look appealing to me. But you know. Battle Brothers didn't look appealing to me for a long time, right? I saw Space Cadet playing it a lot and other people playing it and it never looked like something I wanted to play, but then once I played it it was amazing. Um the funny thing, Benny Bartes, is yeah, Battle Brothers is like the hardest. It's at its hardest the first few days, right? Like it's a really weird. It's like reverse difficulty. The first few fights you do are the hardest because your guys are rubbish, you know, and your opponents are rubbish. But because you're both rubbish, it's like you hit on a you hit on a three plus and they hit on a three plus essentially. Well, not that you've got defense, so it's like you're hitting on a four plus and they're hitting on a four plus on a d6 and then when it's 50 50 anything can happen can't it but then later once you get all your skills and everything and your abilities and your weapons and your armors then tactics become more relevant and obviously when tactics are involved humans become lot, lot, a lot better than ai but when all of your stats are shit on both sides <laughs> um, there's not a lot you can do because it's it's just so random. It's funny. It's a funny old game, right? Something's happened here. What what happened? Uh, one of Sea Rose's players went, didn't he? A gal, Rackle gal. He did expose him, didn't he? Put that Rackle down there, and he got gang fouled and cast. Well, some would say it serves you right, but uh, of course I would never say that. Artemis would call him an absolute fucking moron. But I would never do that. Menace, not manas. <laughs> yeah, the two uphills aren't aren't as bad as the as the removal, right? Which was just uh <laughs> But yeah, I did notice those. They've, they've made trailers for it. They've made trailers for it. 
November 23 was the trailer. Over Hype Studios. Release says 2024. Don't know when. Looking a bit dodgier for Sea Bros now, isn't it? Nine aside. I mean, his, his mummies are absolute monsters. But, um. The rest of his team is worse than the rest of a Lizardman team, isn't it? <laughs> By quite a way. So it's interesting. Well, that's the thing, he didn't. He was being an edgelord, he said. But, um. But you know, they could have been. Could have been betas or whatever, couldn't they? Betas. Could have been a beta tester. A few, few things, options now for the lizards, but surely they're going to get down the field. Pretty decent man advantage. Get some mighty blow bangs in. Could put this player here, and then he could blitz him and then chain him out of there for the assist. Which would be pretty good, wouldn't it? And he could 2D him, and then he'd have this guy move around. That'd be pretty nice. That's, I think that's the nicest move, but at a glance. Yeah, it just doesn't. It just doesn't appeal to me. Like, and I know that sounds stupid. But like, I don't know, something like Battle Brothers just appeals to me more than something like XCOM or whatever. You know, like the thing that PC was playing. What? What's that? That was PC was playing some some game where like it was a bit like XCOM, right? And you were like, it was like an art, some kind of army thing. This ball's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, that's the Chaos one. The, the red that's a pretty cool ball I should have got that ball quite like that the way the red when it moves Jagged Alliance yeah that looks a bit like XCOM doesn't it that Jagged Alliance but it did just you know that didn't appeal to me as much as XCOM did like I'd rather play I'd rather play like a sci-fi type game than a realistic army men game and I'd rather play a uh, a medieval type thing than a uh, than a military, futuristic military thing, you know, and that, that menace thing just looks a bit, I don't know. Could try and just dodge off here. And then, um, even if it fails, at least he's got a way of, you know, three on two. I guess you could do the same up here because this player is better, so this player could try and dodge up there. Unicorn Overlord. That's a funny name. What I hate the most is uh, real time strategy. I really, I really tried with um, Warhammer, you know, Total Warhammer. Because obviously I wanted Warhammer to be good. But I just couldn't get away with it. It's one of the best games ever made, Jimmy. Hello, Timmy. Hello. Hello. How's it going, mate? Not bad. How are you? Yeah, decent, mate. Enjoying the game? Oh, the Dublais. Yeah. I'm enjoying it more now, Yori. Fwa. 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 Lizards pretending like they want to score. Bloody yeah. hell, what's going on with the undeads? Are they regens, are they? Um, it's a goal. Why is that not on he the was, He was benched, because he's got um, 13 players. So he had a send-off and a bench, and then he's had a cool cast. Sneaky get sent off. Oh, he's not sneaky, he's just dirty. 
Yeah, dirty. And a guy regen. Ooh, regen. Regen OP. It is. Has it been thoroughly exciting? One in yeah, nine? it's been all right. It's just it's just a struggle on your own, isn't it? Live, you know, like the the the, the turns are taken like two minutes. They're only two minutes, like that. It is it's two taking minutes. It's taking a whole two minutes on the end of all. But oh like, God, how dare he use his time? You know, <laughs> Wait, when, oh wow! Ginny thinks his time bank is like down to two minutes. Kaz well, there you go. Asked. There you go. So he's been taken more than two minutes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's that's... quite concerning that he's that. Yeah, like, he's down to eight players max. I mean, that's pretty. That's a bit of a worry, isn't it? A that bit, is a bit of, of a worry. worry. A bit of a worry. It's pretty. I mean, it is lizards, but he's already missed his one turn, and I'm. He didn't so. try it. He, it's he's obviously not a one turning man. He didn't try a one turn. Hasn't no. he got like a move up sidestep skink? Yeah, with break tackle. So, yeah. Yeah. He didn't even attempt it. Didn't attempt it. No. What was the kick like? Really? Do you just didn't set up for it? Didn't set up for it. It's hard, all right, because he's got the double uh, scars. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's hard to do anything because he's got the fucking mummies, right? The, the defensive mummies makes it pretty hard to <laughs> to push around a strength five guy when you <laughs> you can't get assists on him. <laughs> like maybe there was something to do with like you know back filling and then chaining of, but he hasn't got sprint. If he had sprint, he could have done a K fog one turn. But well, I mean, must he really got? Right. He's got. Oh, this is the double AV guy, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. did he rando break tackle? Why would you rando shit? He, he'll have rolled stats, right? He'll have gone stats and then uh. rolled movement and took movement. Then he'll have rolled stats and rolled movement and took AV. Then he'll have rolled stats and, you know, rolled AV and then took it. And then he'll rolled stats again to try and get agility and then fail and gone, right, I'll take break tackle. Fuck it. <laughs> so I reckon oh, he's had four goals so of agility and failed. Yeah, them so it doesn't show it in order, is it? Glorious. Like, the stats always go no, at the I end, right? Okay. I think but so. Still I'm like victorious. victorious. Ah, wow, and I will wow, defend. Wow. I will defend. Beard. Beard with a thumbs up. What a leg in. Thank you very much. Old Six months. Beard. Long time, innit? Six months. It's a long time in a Turkish prison. About how long it takes for a new race to be introduced into BB3? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's blitzed and he's followed. He's, he's just going to score. I like how this ball is red. You know, he's got the chaos ball and it leaves a red thing when he moves. It's pretty good. I wish I'd got the chaos ball. You okay, really? Yeah. What's he got here? He's got five Saurus, three Skinks. Whoa. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's Why in a is bit he scoring? I guess, I guess he's, he doesn't want overtime, right? And that kind of makes sense. But. And he just wasn't going to score. If he didn't yeah. score, then I think, I think he was in the, he's on the ropes. Bangs it in. <laughs> and then loses in normal time, probably. But he might get a yeah. blitz or something. Who knows? He's really just... roughing it with eight players. So sad for lizards. This new injury table as well. Yeah. Like if he could have stalled it out, then obviously if he wins the toss, he can just score in overtime and then uh, draw two two, can't he? So two two. Two two. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the way it's going, like even if he stalled it out, scored, got to overtime, banged it in. I mean, by the amount of players he's got, left, there's still a chance that he loses like four-two and over. There's <laughs> a chance. Or three-two, yeah. sorry, three-two. Yeah, there would have been a chance. Oh. Yeah, those mummies are absolutely filthy, yeah, especially the stand firm one. Like, oh my god, it's really good, isn't it? But god just defensive. miserable. Yeah, just a miserable experience. <laughs> And like oh, yeah, was the only one who can really do anything about it. Dead, dead, dead. It's not. No, it's not. No, it's, yeah. Go on, you explain it. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> there you explain. go, Benny. Explain. It's a full Sorry. half. It's a full half in Blood Bowl 2020. So yeah, they've changed it. Oh, yeah, moles! <laughs> fucking moles under the pitch. I hate they, that so uh, much. Yeah, there's no graphic for it either, is there? So there's no way of knowing either, is there? So, well, I mean, obviously you see the thing, but if you miss that pop-up... Yeah. It's like, why is that a B plus? Oh, because... 
a, a really <laughs> interactive, fun table that they introduced into the game, mm. which is completely necessary. Do you know what? I lost a game because I drew a game because I. Uh, it was a blizzard and it looked like a blizzard. And I was just being stupid and thought it was raining, but it totally looked like a blizzard. I was, I was just a complete idiot. And I thought it was raining, so I, I did the wrong play because I, I like, you know, I like, I did a, I did like, you know, say a dodge instead of a GFI. Um, yeah. Because, I, or I did a GFI instead of a dodge, but the dodge would have been better because of the snow, but I just didn't think because it just looked like rain to me. And I, don't, I don't know why, because it didn't. It just clearly looked like snow, you know. Not slating Blood Bowl 3's rubbish graphics or anything, it was just me being a complete idiot, but uh, I did do that one time. <laughs> At least with this pitch, they've kind of like it doesn't like flood, like they've cut the wheels down, didn't they? You see, like the wheels on the side, mm. so like at least you can see that there there is an end to it. Like, cause normally, like they over like it like kind of bleeds over, and then you can't really tell where it starts and ends, or not. Yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm still not. Is this the undead pitch? Is it? Yeah. I don't. I don't think I've even seen this pitch before. Yeah, it's it's relatively new, isn't it? Um, Mr. Page yeah. used it a lot. I think this is meant to be like water, right? Uh, what? Meant to be water. 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 Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah looks so. like my. Uh, looks like my painting gym. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a bit of there's a bit of height in the middle, right? Like you saw it there. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, these yeah. are just like drawn on, which looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? There's no. Uh, there's no. I mean, it's depth. It's like, yeah, I don't. I I mean, I just need grass. That's all I need in my life. Me too. Give me grass. <laughs> what turn are we on? Twelve. Hmm. Yes, there's plenty of time for Seabros. Movement 8, ball carrier. He's got to go ham and air and he, the lizards. He's just got to just try and rush the backfield. He's already down to 7, it's really hard. He's got, yeah, he's, he's flipped, hasn't he? He can't he's let him. Yeah. There is a weak link, though. There is a weak link. He can blitz this guy and he can push through with these two. I would 100% blitz this guy and then just chuck everyone through. Yeah. There's no point in sitting back like you're done. You're just bleeding out. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it, Benny? That is like, you know, this looks like the actual tabletop. Is it? Thing doesn't? I don't know. It could do. Is it? <laughs> that's made up. That's made up. I mean, that's shit. The one, the fucking pictures. You know, you you show, you posted a picture of the gnome one, didn't you? They look fucking terrible for playing the game. Oh, the gnome one. Yeah, the gnome oh. one's like. I don't know, yeah. But, I mean, obviously gnomes were created by someone who's never played Blood Bowl before, so it wouldn't surprise me that the pitch was created by someone who's also never played Blood Bowl before. Yeah. Oh, he didn't, he didn't run through. No, I think you've got to run through there. I think run through. Get him down to like here or something. Get this guy here. Dodge him through. And just go balls out. Yeah, exactly. Amazing art. Yeah, like, look, I'm not, I'm not. Obviously, I'm not slating the people who did the amazing art at Games Workshop, but yeah, for like, you just want the basic ones. So you know where the squares are, don't you? That's all anyone cares about while they're playing the game. It's just seeing the squares and knowing where your men are and where your opponents' men are. Yeah, the squares need to like contrast because. There, there, that is, yeah, that is something I have noticed on tabletop a few times. Is there's a few pitches where there's like a like a browny sort of muddy stain in the middle of the pitch, and it just makes like seeing the squares really difficult. <laughs> Cross paper and hero clicks. <laughs> hero kick. <laughs> oh god. Um, how do I feel about norms? Hmm. Oh mate, awesome. I love the fact that their special ability is they get to pick which square they die in. That's amazing. Yeah. Which I'm, square would you like to leave the pitch from? I'm not excited about gnomes in any way. No, they're just complete bullshit really. I don't know why there's so much hype. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just like boring. But there seems to be like so much hype around them. I guess it's because they're new. Yeah. And no one's played them yet. And people are easily pleased, aren't they? But mate, like, people don't get that height. Like when they reworked Amazons and when they reworked Norse and when they reworked Necro, 
Like there wasn't as much like hysteria. And gnomes are just garbage, man. Like what the flip? Yeah. Well, I guess and it's like, because the, there's going to be more stuff from old players with new teams, right? Like getting to play like, like Black Orcs, right? Were probably way more popular than they should have ever been. Just because I don't mind. Like, uh, honestly, I don't. Team. I don't mind Black Orcs to be honest with you. Yeah, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, they're not a good team, right? But people will. Yeah, yeah. They're not people will have played them disproportionately because it's oh wow, it's a new team for the first time in fucking years. Ninety percent of people are models over playstyle. Where you yeah. where are you drawing that statistic from? <laughs> well, you know, ninety percent of stats are made up. So yeah. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm like, sure. Yeah, of course you did. Of course you did. But yeah, most I, people. I mean, I'm, it's a safe bet that most people care more about models than rules. Yeah, but the thing that annoys me about G is that you get twelve models in a box, and six of them are like identical to the other six, and like, and you don't have enough positionals for the team. Like, their boxes are terrible. They need to sort those out. Like, I'd rather pay like fifty, sixty quid for an actual team with like different models. I know it's the way the sprues work and stuff, but yeah. It's like, oh, you got a different head. Yeah. yeah. Might be one of the better ones. They have, yeah. Like I know, I didn't know, but the Necromantic box has like fourteen players in it, whereas they normally have twelve. Mm. Which actually, like the Necromantic box, four players is actually legit because you get two wolves, two ghouls, two mm. golems. That's two less on that's less on the box though, and more on the roster, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but the, the, I, I don't like the minis. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither do uh, I. They're like, all oh, right, these minis are not our best sculpts. We'll just give you loads of them because, uh, yeah, it'll be mm. fucked up. Yeah. yeah, the Orc Team Sprue and the Delph Sprue as well. Is it, you only get two Blitzers in the Dark Elves. You get two Blitzers and two Assassins mm. and two Runners. Do you get two Runners or just I'm you assuming get two, you, get... you get two of everything, right? Because of double Sprues. Yeah. So the Sprue will have, like, Witch Elf, Blitzer... Runner, assassin, two linemen, or whatever. So how many is that? Because that's like runners, blitzers, assassins, and witches. That's eight. So you only get four linos. Maybe. I don't know. Which isn't enough, really, is it? If you take a sensible team. Not really. Where's the ball? Oh, it's in the box. It's in midfield. You What's that? Is that double movement left. up? Movement down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We. He's a really fast, slow goal. And he's got completely free... Pos completely yeah. free. Oh, the mummies go a lot faster now, don't they? Yeah, someone probably complained about it. To be fair. I, I complained about it a lot. They were fucking awful. They look a lot better now. They and fucking... uh, was it, it's, the, it's the underworld snotlings, isn't it, that used to take forever oh, to like, run anywhere. Yeah. Like, oh my God. Yeah. Four hours worst. later. The yeah. absolute worst. Yeah, and like, yeah, every model goes faster if you make them move further. Really? Mm. That's weird as well. Isn't it? Why wouldn't they just move fast one square? What's well, good if, if everything's variable now? What's better? Variable. Is it, Jim? Is it? It's better than it was, you know. Mate, I, I just like them to appear in their new square. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a yeah. shit reroll from Seabros there, but he must be confident there's only two more turns. Like, I don't think it was a good decision to reroll in terms of, like, match equity, but I guess he was just thinking, look, I'm going to win. He just hates the sneaky this. get dirty player, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, oh my god, I must Save kill him. Team. He's, like, obviously tried to hit it so many times and it just refuses to die. And then yeah. his dirty player got sent off immediately on a snake, right? Yeah. Oh, moles! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, moles. Was the he, fucking got, moles. He, got, he got mulled. Mulled like mold. a dog. It was a two, it was a double two! <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! I mean, to be fair, he tried to double rush to do it, which is. And now, now he's white. He's stunned on the floor next to the DP sneaky. Yeah. But obviously, he's not going to foul it because he's going to go for the ball. Yeah, he's Surely, gonna he's got to try and do something to stop this. Mate, six plus in. Let's go. Mm, six plus in. Let's go. He can. Oh, there's two guards on that side. That's bullshit. Mm. That's bullshit, man. Not so what's that? Do. That's a, it's, it's an uphill as well, isn't it? Oh my god, it's gonna bleed out. I killed him though, so he can get stuff in the way. He can. 
Oh no, Zebra's got another turn after this one, so yeah. he's still yeah, he's still fine. He's just got a base, mate. You got you got to just slap them in there, mate. They're all dead anyway. Slap them in there. Yeah, they're all dead if you lose this game. So like, who cares if they die now? You just got to base everything. You got to base both those mummies and make sure they don't move anywhere, and then try and get something back to get a hit on the ball next turn. Yeah, but then the problem is if you base him, then your guys are based on the ball, isn't it? It's hard, man, with lizards. Yeah, but you can't have those mummies on the cage because of the bloody. Uh, what's it called? It's the uh, guard and the mm. defensive. But it's hard because you've got no players of your own and you need your lizards to do something. So I well, he's, he's, yeah, he's got a cage dive with one of them next turn, hasn't he? So, mm. so how does he base everything? Like, it's hard, isn't it? He hasn't got many fucking players. <laughs> That's, that sneaky gear should be based in that mummy. Mm -hmm. That other mummy. Just go, go raw dog it. <laughs> God. I like that he's based with a stand firm anyway, because now he might, he might like you know, just push him and uh, use up two players' actions, but he doesn't. Oh, he's he's left a massive hole through the middle. That mummy just blitzes that Saurus, and there's a gaping hole. I mean, he could even hole, score. Yeah. Like if he if he's seen Ginny fix his complete lack of one turn in and then like, it gives a shit yeah. if you score now isn't it? yeah just... yeah I would just score here is it a GFI yeah. is it a GFI though oh he's only got one me with moles so molly 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 <laughs> holy moly I mean can he no, he's gonna he do it he's, gonna... he's not gonna do it he's gonna base cage it is he He's gonna fuck it. Oh my god, see boys in the end of all. He may, all he has to do is uphill that mummy away and then he can blitz with the Saurus. Where's this ghoul? That ghoul has to base the down Saurus. Yeah. Uh, we can just uphill this. He can just uphill this skeleton and then 2D the ball. This guy can dodge out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's doable, right? If he uphills him for a push. Well, he, well, he can uphill One, the guard two, and three, then dodge four, the five, Saurus, six, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uphill him and then dodge this Saurus. I mean, that's it. Yeah. Or you and can just. Because you can't really 1D him, right? Because you'd have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I guess you could, yeah. You can just <laughs> Well, the uphill's not even that bad because he's got block and the zombie don't have. Yeah. Block, so it's, it's, it's a pretty good uphill. Just yeah, because you can do this block first as well. So yeah, uphill him, block him, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, not even a GFI required if you power them both. Well, if, if you power, if, no, just push them both. Just push them both. Push him. Push him. He's got, he's got to dodge the sore ass though, isn't he? Yeah, but so fucking what? Still fucking easy, isn't it? Oh, he's gonna one day it. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. It means he hasn't got a recovery now, but. <coughs> got a block here as well. Oh, and then he, at least he's got the size separate on the ball as well. Yeah, yeah. Got to block yeah. this fella. Yeah. 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 Just needs a yeah. push. So you dodge, I mean, he could just dodge that sort of thing. No, he's got a block. This is the one, Dimmy. This one's got tackle. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. So this guy just blocks. I was wondering what he's on about then. Yeah, he's got tackle. There was a massive cup in the way. <laughs> so yeah, punch him and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Wreck so him. is it? It's a, it's a six. It's a five plus touch, isn't it? It's not that bad. Yeah. He ain't edgy bust, is he? What's that? No. No. Five it's plus touch. One in three. Well, what's that with a reroll? That's like fifty-five. Fifty-five percent with a reroll. 55% and then it's 55% for the... Oh no, because he's got tackle as well, isn't it? Yeah, is it 55 Oh, oh nah, he's rolled a two. What a dice in. <coughs> did he, roll, he rolled a one in nine, did he? I mean... Maybe. This is this is where Seabra fails to clear a sidestepper and it's hilarious and we all <laughs> have a good laugh. It's possible. It is possible, and he's blodge as well. He's going to one in nine the dodge off of him, and he. I guess the dodge is just better at this point. I guess can he free dice him? Oh, the tackle whites are right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, well, so, so four, you want to... five, six. Oh, no, it's molehills, isn't it? So, like, the dirty player's actually screening him. You want to blitz with him so that he can't sidestep to there, right? He could block and you could fill that one. And then... You can blitz so that he only goes there. Yeah, so you block with the mummy and you can fill the bottom. Not really need to fill the bottom. Oh, this guy can do something. Yeah. This guy could have blitzed. Oh, he's got blocks, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, it, just, it doesn't yeah. matter about filling the bottom. You've just got to, because uh, he can sidestep up here, so you just got to blitz with him. And he hasn't blitzed with him. And he's going to blitz with ball carrier now. Yeah, because he's got block, yeah. Yeah, ball carrier blitz is better. You threw me off to me by saying moles, but he still had the... So I threw you off. Don't blame me, Jim. Mm. I thought you'd said it for a reason, but you just said it for no reason. No, I was saying moles because of the white. If you blitz with the tackle uh, white, but it's molehills. There you go. GG. Match finished. GG. The Germans come up short. It's Danish. The Germans come up short. The Germans. Germans are really tall, aren't they? I thought like Germans were like average height was like six foot one. I don't know. Dutch are tall, aren't they? Oh, the Dutch are tall. But mm. I thought Germans are quite tall as well. I mean, have you met Stor? He's got. He's really tall, but I mean, like ninety percent of him is neck. So. Yeah, that's true. No, Dutch are taller than Germans. He's got a really long neck. That's true. That's just one. That's just one German. <laughs> They're not so, all like that. They're not like well, giraffes. Yeah, well, well, Carjo is also very tall. <laughs> not very tall, is he? He average. is. Yeah, Volk is tall. And, he's not and, uh, very tall. I mean, Jim, like, you're nowhere near as tall as Volk to be honest. No, but, I mean, he's not very tall, is he? Like 6'3 or something? Yeah, he's, he's a lot taller than me. But I'm like 6 foot, mate. 6'3 uh... yeah, is very tall. But my, my friends are six foot seven, six foot five, and six foot four. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just weird northern water, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're all they're all descendants of Danish people <laughs> come over in Viking ships, aren't they? That's what it is. Right. Anyway, there you go. That was the match. For some reason, none, nothing came up afterwards. But there you go. That was the end of the match. Um, and yeah, Sea uh, Bros won. Um, that's great, isn't it? Things happen. There's some stats. There's some star player points. Really nice. Really nice. Anything to say, Dimmy? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Stay fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, hopefully the subsequent games will be better. <laughs> hopefully, I was I was so tired during this, but uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.